Hello, good morning. My plan is to do a little bit to this uh, painting. The oil paint is drying on the on the palette. I've had an easy weekend. Well, yeah, easy, I suppose. I've been out, outdoors quite a bit and I've not done, uh, I haven't painted in the house, you know, so I've been sitting whenever I come home, I watch these. And Margot knocked over, the cat knocked over the flowers yesterday, so they're configured completely differently now. But I always have the other two uh, paintings that I can look at there as well, you know, and um, as reference for for them. I'm still not 100% um, sold on the red. I'm not completely sure that that's a great idea, but I do like using red in paintings. I think if I were to do the, the vase grey, it'll make a difference. <laughs> I meant to start off by saying this is Anya Divine here and uh, have a look at the links below if you want to know more about what I do. Wow. Sorry, you can't hear me probably. Oh no. <laughs> okay. That might get knocked over again now. Um, all right, so let's make a start. So I've got my oil paint out. This is all acrylic. And I'm about to start now with um, with the oil paint. Okay. I'm gonna open that window so that Midnight can go out if she wants to. So it's this flower here that I want to start by doing that really bright one over by the window there. Just get some paper towel to dry my brushes. I find the brushes get um, worn down fairly quickly these um, burgundy brush set they kind of splay fairly uh, fairly soon after being used in oil paint I mean they're, they're good enough but they just don't come to that same fine edge that they do when they're bought new and it's probably down to how I wash them I maybe need to wash them a bit better with oil or something um, you know the sky is quite bright behind there so I'm just lifting that for myself to be able to see a bit better and I'll just do that single daisy even because I do want to get out for a walk as well before the afternoon so I'm going to put you on the other side now because I think I talk this way more all right what am I doing now I'm going to place the yellow at the center of the daisy you see I've got it way further over than it is in real life but I'll just stick with that because uh, it was that way the other day, you know. I'll just stick with that now. So that's the yellow for the center. Um, big, a big brush. And I'm gonna make something that will hopefully read as... Um, Maisie! <whistles> uh, that'll hopefully read as paint's great to kind of no knock the shape. So I need to bring the curtain in to meet yeah, so what I'm doing down here now is I'm mixing ultramarine blue and Van Dyke brown in order to make a colour for the um, curtain. Maisie, what are you up to? And the colour I want is to kind of... She doesn't... Uh, I... No! <laughs> she doesn't... <coughs> no! Go away! Maisie, go away! Go away! She didn't know the cat was there. Go away. Out. Out. Sorry. Out. Go on. Out. Maisie. I don't want to pause the video because I really just want to get this flower um, done because I've been looking at it for so long. So this is the background colour. Yeah, Midnight's made her escape. That's the background colour. And it's being painted up to meet the edge of the, the flower. Again, I can hardly see with the, the light behind it. That's easier. Okay. Gosh, I'm standing right in front of you as well, aren't I, for goodness sake. So I'm bringing the colour of the, the background of the curtain up to meet where the, the light on the flower will be. And now I'm going to use the um, sap green to make a kind of a colour for where the stem meets the flower back here, which is quite significant too. There's a kind of a triangle between the petals where the green comes in. Like that. 
and it'll be more the Payne's Grey again than that extending down there being a bit lazy now because what I did there was to cancel out the green and make it read more as Payne's Grey I just put some cadmium red in hoping that that'll work it's a bit too dark just put a bit of white into it now to make it grey again and that'll be the background colour to meet the white of that petal and I'll just use the same to make a triangle in between those can you see? yeah make a triangle in between those two petals a kind of a rectangle between those two and this edge here does that and then there's a kind of a thin line between these two petals here and that paint's grey now at the back needs to be significantly darker. It's quite a dark bit of the background that comes in to meet these. That comes in to create the triangle there. Which that bit needed to be a bit darker. Darker again actually. Um, yeah, and then the next thing is that is the light, light long petal there. Okay. And maybe there'll be a couple of dark patches in here and actually I want to make the grey for the for the daisy itself so I'm going to put a bit of yellow into it to make it different from the background yellow ochre actually I'm going to put yellow ochre into the grey I was using for the background and white in order to make a grey that's different for the shadows in the petals of the daisy and I want to make it even more different. Like if you ask me, that was more purpley grey. And so I'm going to go for the opposite of purple, um, which is yellow. And the yellow ochre seems a good colour for a grey for the daisy there. So that it'll read it being significantly different from the grey around the flower. Because I do want to give it some shadow, but I don't want it to be so um, a similar grey to the background. And and it goes down there and then there's um, one a uh, grey colour here as well underneath so it's just a few of the petals have this greyness to them and I think I'm putting the grey in you can more easily see the, the bright then that's Maisie just fighting with her own tail my sister used to say that's a very bad sign of a dog when it fights with its own tail but it's just because she's only been groomed recently and her tail is still a lot smaller than she's used to, I think. Now, I'm going to bring down the yellow a little bit further. That's it. And take off the bit at the top. Now, Maisie's going to stay quiet now while I just do the whites, the really bright bits. I was feeling there, seeing as I am just focusing on this one flower, I should bring you a bit closer. Maisie, stop it. Bring you a bit closer to that, to that single flower there that I'm planting. Okay. I'm just going to ignore that. Hopefully it'll go away. Alright, so now I'm going to use the white. I was saying about getting... Sorry, I'm mixing up some white here. I was saying about getting some oil in order to make the paint a bit more viscous and uh, with all this white I'm using it I need to buy more white right so there's my petal there I'm just going to put Maisie outside come on let's go this way come on Maisie come on let's go Out. Out. Right. Okay. Sorry about that. You can see how obedient a dog I have. Hi. Okay. It really is the fact that she just needs to get out for a walk, I reckon. <coughs> Okay, I'm going to just do this really quickly, for goodness sake. Nothing like a bit of urgency at times. So that's the bright petal there in the sun. There's a few bright petals that are kind of turning back. One there, one there. This needs to be longer. <laughs> Get off, Maisie. Come on. 
and I think that's about it. I'm just going to do one more. Hey, no. Right, come on up, up for a second. And this little bit here. Okay, I'm going to stop there. The nuts here. Look at her. Maisie. She's desperate to get out. See ya.